Now, this is a Wolfpack program that finished the regular season with five straight wins. Clemson, Miami, at Wake Forest, at Virginia Tech, Dave Doran have brought in this spring. And we get our first look. Waters is another one, gets the carry here, takes that for a first down. You see the flash. De Concepcion in the backfield as well. He had 300 yards on the ground. But with Waters in the backfield getting another carry, he's really too, Charles, as he's a proven ACC yeah. commodity. He's done it in this league, and they expect another successful season from him out of the backfield. Jay, the one thing about... And McCall set to throw for the first time in a Wolfpack uniform, and it's right on the money for a first down. That's where you're going to get the new face, but he comes with a great pedigree from Notre Dame. Great blocking from the offensive line. Plenty of room to run for Raphael. Shoved out of bounds. Well, McCall kept it himself. Yeah, good hustle right there. I was going to say, it's not contact. He got a hand to him. I think he got to roll it down. Yeah. That was... <laughs> Coming off the edge, blocking there, and then you can see, yeah, he's like, he's down. <laughs> Over there, scraping to that play. And Waters couldn't quite find the end zone there. Defense. goal trying to punch in Grayson McCall's first drive in a Wolfpack uniform. And this defensive front has done a lot better since they got inside. McCall play action, back pedals, and throws it perfectly to the back of the end zone. A beautiful heavy, heavy dose of Jordan Waters and Justin Jolie. You're going to see a lot of this this year. It starts now. And we'll be joined by the senior captain, David. You know, all the time. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I think that's where we really get our competitive spirits from. You know, having a little brother that's so close in age to you, you always want to be better than him. He always wanna, helps us a lot. Um, a great example of that is Jacarius Peak. You know, me and Peak, we used to go against each other when he's on scout team, and we still go against each other now. But um, just from, hey, let's make a run of our own. Let's get in, be a top 12 team, and see what happens with the new CFP. Yeah, that's been real. That's been a real important. Um, Big run, C.J. Bailey showing off the wheels. <laughs> um, of course, we want to be number one, but, you know, being your captain, anchoring the defensive line, appreciate the inside. And C.J. Bailey in this <laughs> young guns, Duke's got two yeah. freshmen. How about oh, the bright man. lights on the freshmen? For really, really nice by him, this first drive. Of all the things you've been hearing about Grayson McCall, hey, C.J. is saying, hey, don't forget about me. I was a two. How long you played? You get ready for a football game. Clean pocket. McCall fires a dart. And plenty of room to run, too, for a first down. Dakari Collins. Yeah, both the running back room and the wide receiver room have so much quality. You heard Coastal Carolina offense. And then now to see him here, getting a chance to do this. Get outside. Look to throw. Get rid of the football. That's a veteran guy. Everyone's covered there. Hollywood smothers into the backfield, gets this carry, bounces it outside. Check out the speed. <laughs> hey, Hollywood smothers. Hey. There's their North Carolina kids that went away to start, went into the transfer portal, and decided to come home. Well, and a lot of it, too, is what the connection between the staff. Break some of those guys down for us. Let's start with KC. What's it like going against him? Uh, going against KC? Oh, we need that, Jolly. <laughs> <laughs> and he still probably get gain extra yards, so. Uh, that's great insight from Aiden White, one of the best corners the ACC. I'm curious about your game. You know, been to help you improve your game as well. When you just have a coach that just that smart and call such great calls, it just help you. It just really puts you in a better position to make the, take that check down when it's there. He's gonna just take what you give him. He very, he is real veteran, so. I like, I'm glad for bro. Well, that's frustrating for you, this yeah. talented players. That's a testament to his ability as well. McCall just perfectly threads the needle. His act could throw the football after people thought he couldn't do that coming out of high school. And all the talk of the offensive athletics, you know, he kept every single coach on his staff from last season to this season and 340 years of coaching experience it's here between these new faces for nc state cj bailey is one of them the freshman quarterback 
scampered for a 60-yard run in his first drive. And White all on the defensive side of the ball. But you bring so much talent in on the offensive end as Bailey again decides to run it. And this is guys together bonding, getting them over to different affairs and functions and making sure that they they not only do it organically, but sometimes as a coaching staff, you have to. Well, Grayson McCall and the first team offense starting from their own two yard line. Jordan Waters is such a weapon. You can't say enough good things. Yeah, yeah I really do. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of buzz for, for both programs. I know Tennessee. You know, obviously likes their quarterback, but I think the better these guys looking at it and saying we got a chance to be really good. And a couple of flags on this possession. We're staying pretty simple and uh, got a lot of guys out so uh, that we aren't playing with. But, uh, you know, I like I like where our kids are at, uh, like their attitude, like the way they approach. Is, is that decision to bring Sean Brown down from safety to linebacker? And you mentioned we won't see him today. I'm curious, how has he settled into that new role? Really well. And he understands the game, uh, reads defenses really well. And, and, you know, we're different. I mean, we drop eight out in the coverage, and he still does a really good job of taking care of it. Came earlier today. Yesterday, and it was the, the buzz around the, the pack. You know, it's, just, it's great. It, it really is the epicenter of college athletics right now. Both football and to shine in Raleigh during this spring game. 23-yard touchdown. And you have guys in front of him, and he makes one move and downhill. And then easy. You're not. It, it takes more than one guy to catch the ball out of the backfield, and he's really good in pass pro on the college level. And he's got the proven pedigree. Oh, yeah. You know, he's done it at. Yeah, just with me. I responded to that. Me and Jim went back and forth. But, man, uh, you you, you got to imagine a guy like that on campus. Think much better for his body. So this spring game, you know, for Wolfpack fans, this is the appetizer because the final four game against Purdue is later tonight. But what if in his first drive of the spring game, pressure coming. Get rid of it quickly. A couple of broken tackles at a first down. Ball's out. And NC State has it defensively. Scoop it up. A talented linebacker that they're very excited about here. And Anderson, one of those young receivers who's really good. But you can see the ball getting batted out right there. A little trickery. McCall delivers inside the 10. By Robert and I. Gain of 40 sets up a first and goal. And the run game continues to deliver. Rafael, two plays and a touchdown for Grayson McCall in his NC State first team offense. You get the turnover on defense, and your offense turns around and immediately cashes it in for points. Yeah, you know he's locking up the white. Rafael just says, hey, I had never had an easier touchdown than this, but I'm going to take it. So really happy with his secondary. Obviously, Aiden White, who we spoke to earlier, is the standout at corner. But Brandon Cisse and Corey Coley providing some real edge and great instinct as well. Clean pocket this time. Thomas overthrows it. Had some losses. And then Sean Brown, who's not playing, but no, I heard he had a really good spring is also one of the key areas for this team. They're going to have to show it up on, on the inside, no doubt about it. Now there's a lot of depth in those running back and wide receiver rooms. C.J. Bailey bobbles the snap, and he's getting his first run with the one. Different than what you've been playing and accustomed to. And you're seeing the arm strength here. Bailey taking a deep shot. Fall. Oh. Bailey getting great protection from this veteran offensive line unit. And that, and I said Grayson McCall's day is done, but he's actually back in. They run the reverse to Concepcion. Check out the speed. KC Concepcion weaving through this. So ba Bailey back in as McCall just came in for the one play. That sails over the head of KC Concepcion. Yeah, Bailey got one back. That's a, if he gets that right to him. On Now the arm strength, not a question, a bullet to the end zone, leaving end. Can't do it any better than that for the early enrollee freshman CJ. Again, really good pass protection, and look at this throw. I mean, on the money. Woo. <laughs> 
Now in this first half, the first team off, all the attention on McCall, but Bailey looking equally impressive during the spring game. And I'll, and I'll say both offensive lines have been excellent in this first half. Gotten a lot of praise throughout this spring camp. Un helps you understand how programs are being built. Yeah, to elaborate on that, you know, this NC State program, every single day they ask every single proof. You know, that, that'll be an interesting thing. You know, as I look at that list, it's always a surprise team. And, and it always much continuity year in and year out on his coaching staff. They've got 340 years of coaching experience. McCall back into the game, beautiful situation. He has been a star in this first half of the spring game. Takes the check down there. Mm, part of it, the off. Biggest adjustment for McCall coming over from four years at Coastal Carolina now competing in the ACC. Getting consistent with your team. I don't think it's even the ACC. Okay. It's understandable. You've been in a place where you know the, 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 the lay of the land. Now you're coming in a place where you don't know all these teams. You don't know what they're going to do differently each and every week like you did with the, the weapons that they have in that backfield. Well, Robert and I, offensive coordinator, who we will hear from at the start of the third quarter, he said he's even got some three-back sets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could use some of the help. I still want to make plays, but I would love to have you here. That was almost an interception. Bobbled ball landed in the chest. Oh, Georgia. Now we were talking with Tony Gibson. He said that kid is special. So we'll keep an eye on 04 throughout his career, just beginning. And for these boys from Raleigh, shades of 1983. So still a lot to come here at the NC's, the epicenter of college athletics. And we're having a lot of fun. Charles Arbuckle, Jay Alter with you. Still a lot more to come.